and welcome to step number three. Let's get into the cabinets real quick. Let's minimize this piece right here and get rid of that because we are on step number three now. All right, here we go. Step number three, we're going to be putting cabinets on the wall here. First thing to look at when doing cabinets is you want to figure out, you always want to have your fillers done like we did in step number two. Fillers are already done here. We are now moving on to putting cabinets on the wall. Okay. Uh, what we're trying to achieve here is a real nice symmetrical master bath vanity. So we already know our standards. Obviously, we've, we've dictated those in the in the previous uh, tutorials. 22 inch depth, 34 and a half inch tall, because we're doing a master bath. So let's do the first thing here. Let's get our sink cabinets out. In a master bath cabinet, most of the time when we're looking at it is a two door, one false front sink cabinet. And I would highly recommend a two-door, one false front sink cabinet is one that looks like this. Oh, wow, I'm slow. Okay, there we go. Uh, basically, it's a false front up top, two doors down below. That's just a real typical way of building a master bath cabinet. And you don't have to use this exact combination, but this is what I recommend for this tutorial. That's what we're going after. Okay. Moving back on this thing, uh, the cabinet depth needs to be 22 inches. I'm going to adjust that. And the width needs to be, uh, for most sink cabinets, I'd highly recommend using a 24-inch wide sink cabinet. That is a standard uh, that most people use, and sink manufacturers know that cabinet makers like to use that standard. So, highly recommend staying with standards if you, if you can. You have more options for your sinks. A little bit nicer, a little bit better. Now, you can go down to 22 if you watch that. Notice you can go down to 22 if you get into a, a real tight space. That is, most sinks will still work with 22. Don't go underneath 22, though. I highly recommend staying with at least 22, between 22 and 26. 26 is acceptable. Uh, it won't draw the eye away from your vanity and it's going to look correct. In this tutorial, since this is a perfect world and uh, we're doing this on a computer, I'm going to use 24. So uh, I'm going to leave a 12 inch space between here and uh, the fillers on the, on the side there and see if I can achieve that over here. Now I've maintained 24 inches width for this cabinet. It's basically going to be identical, a mirror image. And I move this one 12 inches away from the filler. So basically I'm taking a gap 12 inches from here to here. I'm trying to mi basically mimic each side, okay? So it's very simple. Now, we have 25 and 3 quarter for a four drawer base cabinet. Uh, I like to use four drawer base cabinets in Master Vanities. Uh, it just seems to work out pretty well. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, take a four drawer base cabinet. I'm gonna put it right here. Again, we got 25 and 3 quarters of an inch of the space. That goes cabinet to cabinet, okay? There's no space, no fillers, no nothing. Our cabinets sit right next to each other, creating a perfectly flush look. I now need to adjust the depth down to 22 inches, so it matches up with the face of those. And the height needs to be exactly 34 and a half. Okay, so I've already done that. All right, one thing to look at that I forgot to tell you about with these sinks, just make sure that your plumbing gets inside of the sink cabinet. Okay, that's very important. Make sure it doesn't land on the partition or the, the, the end panel here, because obviously it's gonna have a hard time you know, having that plumbing moving through there. So if you look at our sink cabinet, I'm gonna give you a little bit better view I probably should have done this before. In the back of our cabinets, it's actually open, as you see right through here. That way, uh, the plumbing can stick through the back of the cabinet, and then you can hook it up to the sink underneath. It's always pretty nice. And all right, so let's just take a look and see what we have so far. So far, we got our center cabinet, which is our four-door base cabinet, two sink cabinets. And now we need to do something with these small spaces right here. The most typical is going to be a base one-door, one-drawer cabinet. I'm going to adjust the depth to 22. One drawer, one door base cabinet hinged on the left. On the on when it's on the left side, obviously you hinge it on the right if it's on the right side. Open this thing up, and it's trying to render. Give it one second. There we go. Bam. There we go. So that's pretty much it. So what I've done there is I just used a one door, one drawer base cabinet on this side and this side, and now we have a very a perfectly identical or basically a mirror image of each other. If you drew a line right through here, they're symmetrical. And I like symmetrical cabinets, I think this looks nice. All right, so let's take a look at 3D and see what we've done here. And I'll render this for you. There we go. And I'll kind of recap exactly what we've, uh, what we've accomplished with our cabinet layout. We've done two fillers. They're full height fillers. So going from the ground all the way up to the top of the cabinet. Those were at 34 and a half inches tall, the same height as our cabinetry. Okay, we have a toe kick, just standard toe kick going across. And on the next tutorial, we'll actually spruce this thing up a little bit. We'll do a toe scan, we'll do some countertops and some sinks and have some fun with it. Uh, so that's step number four. 
Uh, again, we went over, uh, so we did our fillers, uh, then we went to our uh, sink cabinets, centered those on the plumbing to make sure that the plumbing is going to be sticking through. And then we went into the center, center of our cabinetry and we got a four drawer base cabinet. And the very end was these, uh, the leftover pieces, basically the one drawer, one door base cabinets. Hinged left, hinged right, and we're good to go. Very simple, very high end, and very custom uh, cabinetry setup that, you have, that you're seeing right here. And it's actually pretty inexpensive, especially since all we do is custom cabinets. So this is very nice. Uh, any questions, feel free to give us a call uh, or move on to step number four and see us trick this one out.